Google's laying off employees while shifting roles overseas. Meta? cutting thousands, Amazon scaling back. But that's only one side of the story. While everyone's panicking about jobs disappearing, they're missing the fact that AI is creating an entirely new roles that never existed before. These include strategic work and high value positions like managing infrastructure, DevOps, securing networks, and integrating AI systems. At the same time with this rise of AI, we've triggered a surge in AI-related security threats. It's on the headline every other day. U.S. officials say Chinese hackers breached multiple telecommunications companies in a broad espionage campaign. And this isn't going away. It's actually escalating. And for every escalation means more demand for people who know how to fight back because jobs like cybersecurity and network engineering and data center technologies are getting more and more important as AI gets bigger. Because more AI simply means more infrastructure, more stuff to manage, and more secure networks we need to protect. And these jobs can't be sent overseas. Companies need people right here in the US that can protect these systems and people that they can trust. This is why cybersecurity guys and network and data center engineers often make more money than software programmers because they're protecting everything. So if the traditional computer science route no longer prepares you for roles that are growing the fastest, the obvious question is what does? So here's our five-step roadmap that can help you build the right skills faster and cheaper. Step one, start by getting hands-on experiences. Build your own PC, and then you can set up a home lab and start tinkering around with the router, the firewall settings, and start working on these small projects. And this is so crucial, and it will give you all the experience that will help you start getting your interest in IT, rather than like reading a 500 page book and trying to study for the CompTIA A+, this is what I would recommend. Step two, skip the help desk. And you don't want to go after the CompTIA A+, because then you're stuck on the help desk. Yet your network plus or your security plus. This is the way you can bypass the help desk, which pays maybe anywhere from 30 to 60,000 in the US. But by pivoting into a network or junior engineer role, you could earn right out the gate anywhere from 60 to 120,000. And this will allow you to save many years Years of being stuck in kind of an entry-level minimum wage job. Now, step three, network. Join LinkedIn groups, join local meetups, and participate in industry discords or telegrams where you can start building your network. Ask them about their tech job and their roles they're in. Be open to share your work and what projects and what cool technologies you're working on. I promise you, the network in your IT world is going to open up more doors and opportunities as you move up the corporate ladder. I don't know how many job offers I got just through my network. So make sure you do this right out the gate. And it's not something you do after you get into the field. Networking is huge. Um, anytime I meet a new student, I tell them that's the most important part of, um, of your role here while you're here in school is to network and, and meet people and make connections organically. This is how you position yourself from the fastest growing tech careers without relying on a computer science degree that no longer guarantees a return. Step four, stack multiple IT certifications. The exact one depends on your IT career path. But for example, a network engineer, I would recommend the Cisco CCNA, which can land you to a six figure position as long as you get the experience experience. The Cisco advanced certs like the CCNP or the IE can get you further down the track. But if we're talking about cybersecurity, you probably want to get your network plus and security plus. And those are going to be more vendor agnostic and then maybe specialize in pen testing or white team or training on advanced specialty technology so you can be on a blue team or a red team or go into more advanced security practices. If you want to go into cloud, you might be looking at AWS or Microsoft Azure certifications. But the point is that in your IT career, you want to be stacking certs, get that entry level, start working way towards getting those mid-level certs. And then any opportunity when you're learning a new technology from a vendor, try to get that cert. And finally, step five, don't just use AI, learn how it actually works. Take simple courses on AI and machine learning as the next step and try to understand pattern recognitions and the limits of AI. This knowledge was going to keep you ahead of all the others and keep so many new IT opportunities for career advancement 
down the line. So if you're interested in getting into an IT career without having to go back to college for four years, then the first step you should take is to figure out which career path is right for you. So to help you, we made a free quiz that will tell you exactly which high paying tech careers fits your personality, your lifestyle goals, and your current skill level. It will also help you avoid wasting time years chasing the wrong opportunities, competing against hundreds of laid off senior engineers working for that same position. This quiz takes less than three minutes to complete. It's personalized and it's completely free. Tap the link on your screen or in the description to get your custom IT career path today.